Hey everyone, let's talk about changing meter in Pro Tools. All right, so I just made this example session for the purpose of this video, and I'm actually making this video because of a viewer question. So the question was, if you have a show and want to program a metronome, can you program Pro Tools to the songs? So if a song has time signatures of 5868, 5868, can you program the different subdivisions into the metronome in Pro Tools? So the answer is yes, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that really quickly today. So the first thing you'll wanna do is make sure that you're actually in the edit window. So I just command equals to make sure I'm in the edit window. It says it up here if you're not familiar. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you actually have the meters ruler displaying. So up here we have all our different types of rulers that are currently displaying. And you can just click on the drop down here and find meter. And the thing I'm about to show you, you can actually use to also change other things like the tempo or the key as things progress throughout the song. So you can use this for more than just meter. So I have meter checked off now, so I'm gonna click off of this and you'll see here, I actually have meter now listed in my rulers, right? So there's a meter ruler that's here on my session. And if you look here, the default is 4-4 four, four, and it's just 4-4 four, four for the entire session right now. So if I were doing this for an actual song, I would probably wanna make sure that I'm in grid mode. So wherever I do, tell it to make this meter change, it will actually be in the correct spot within the actual you know, tempo and meter and everything of the song. So I just flipped into grid mode and maybe let's say that at this bar and beat, I want to change the meter. And just on a side note, you can go here and you can change the unit of measurements for your main counter and your sub counter. So I might switch to bars and beats just so I can see where I am, make sure that I'm actually making that meter change in the right spot. So let's say this is where I wanna make that meter change. I just go up to the meter ruler and I just hit the little plus icon here. And then I can just make my meter change. So I can, for example, change it to, I think they said 5.8 was one of them. 5.8, okay. And there's my change. And you can see how the grid adjusts after the fact, right? So after I did that, you could see the grid pass where my cursor is located actually shifted. So it's shifting based on the meter. So again, if I put it here, and I hit the little plus. I think the other one they had was six, eight as their example. There we go, see how it shifted? So now I might do, I don't know, a few bars or whatever. And then meter, and then five, eight. Okay, so that's it, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. So now this section here is five, eight. This section-ish here is six, eight. And then this section-ish to the end is back in 5.8. And you can also, you know, you can hit return to go to the beginning of your session and find this original marker um, for the 4.4 four meter, and you can change that as well if you want. So you have a lot of control over, you know, how you place your meter changes, where the meter changes are, and then it will consistently, whenever you hit play, it will shift through these, these settings as you've set them. So Yes, you can change the meter in Pro Tools and that's how you do it. And I think I might have a very similar video to this where I talk about like tempo, meter, and uh, I don't know, maybe markers or something, some of these rulers here. So I will see if I can find that video and then link to it in the cards for you guys. But other than that, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Oh, and another thing is you can always double click on these little flags here for each change and you can adjust settings here. So. If you change your mind after the fact and want to change what you did, you can always uh, change things that way. You can also hold option and then you'll notice my little grabber icon here gets that little negative sign when I hover over the flag for this meter change and I can just delete that meter change if I want. So you can always hold option to delete and then set the meter again, you know, to whatever you want it to be. So just hit the little plus icon. Maybe this one I want to be, what did I have here? I had six, eight here. So I'll do six, eight, apply. And just keep in mind with these meter changes here that you can't drag them around like we do with markers and with some other changes that we make in Pro Tools in our rulers. So uh, the default is for them not to be able to be dragged around. I don't know if there's a way to change that, but as far as I know, they can't be dragged around. So what I do if I have to make a, a new one or change where one is located is I just hold option and delete and then I'll make a whole new one in the correct spot. So I think that's all I wanted to talk about for today. So I hope someone found this helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, you guys know what to do, like, comment, subscribe. I have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Noise, and we have a Discord. We've been hanging out on there. It's been a ton of fun. So if you feel like joining us, come hang out. I think it's like a dollar is the lowest amount for Patreon that you can join, I think. Anyway, 
Other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for watching. Okay. Dude, my skin's like breaking out over here. I have like a rash. I have eczema. So uh, I've been doing pretty well. I, when I quit dairy years ago, my eczema got a lot better. But every so often something happens. I got like a little rash forming on my neck and it's making me real uncomfortable and self-conscious more than anything. I think self-conscious more than anything, but um, I don't know. All right. Talk soon.